We have been raised up our whole lives trying to be like a root skew. You know, we trained up, we gained the knowledge, we gained the brilliance, we got everything together. But we still got to take on that Rubik's Cube. And the Rubik's Cube is our life. We try to take on the Rubik's Cube and try to match every color. But as soon as we go through twists and turns, discouragement, depression, every time we do twists, we always fall into a deep depression. We don't know how we're going to get up. We lose faith, we lose hope, we lose everything in our life that had us together in the first place. But when we start doing twists and turns, we get frustrated. We get frustrated by this Rubik's Cube because we think and it can't go nowhere. We think we cannot beat it. We think we cannot match every color. We are falling. We are falling because of the killing in the world and all of the destruction in the world and all of the killing and hating and, and all the discouragement and all the people that we are trying to let down. That's why Rubik's Cubes are twisted. That's why they are twisted and all the colors are in their own shapes and sizes. We cannot match the color because we, we refuse to match ourselves. And one thing we have failed to realize is that the Rubik's Cube is a part of life, but we forget who, who gave us this life in the first place. We forget who tried to follow us here in this life, and that is God. We refuse to have the teachings of God because we think we have the knowledge on our own to try to defeat a Rubik's Cube called life. But no, if you have God in your life, then he will guide you to try to master codes and have the situation straightened out to where your depression will become joy, your sadness will become a believer, your faith will be stronger. Everything will be stronger and you will start to learn the truth on trying to beat the Rubik's Cube. But we fail to realize that because we let the devil try to make twists and turns for us thinking we can do it on ourselves, but that is not the case. We are not strong by ourselves. It's with God that we are able to be strong, that he gives us the strength that we need to keep pressing forward in this life all the killings we have to pray about it we refuse to pray because <laughs> we refuse to pray because we fail to lack imagination we fail to we fail to think that god is not the the right ruler of this world we thinking that we are ruling this world instead of trying to look at what god is trying to do for us so, how are we going to beat the Rubik's Cube? You start by believing in God, staying in His Word. You start by praying. You start by keep pushing forward out the darkness of this world. And that's the only way you're going to beat the Rubik's Cube. Because the Rubik's Cube is a part of life. There's no reason to trying to figure it out. If you ain't got God in your life, you will never figure out the Rubik's Cube of life. Try to start putting God in your life. And start putting faith in yourself. Start believing that God is gonna guide you through everything. Because with all the killing, all the destruction, all the sadness, all the hate, all this in this world, you are not gonna get through it unless you have God in your life. Because God is the answer. And he will make you see like the glasses that I always wear. In order to defeat the Rubik's Cube, don't let the devil help you. Don't even help the devil with it. Let God help you. You either play the Rubik's Cube of life, or you can let the Rubik's Cube play you.